Hello everybody and welcome to the Coach Oak Show on Coach Oak TV. You are here with Coach Oak himself. We are just getting ready here for our week 8. I think it's 8. Battle versus Nappy, Nappy, Nappy. Sorry, I really don't know how you're supposed to say that. I'm not good at pronunciations. Um, of a team. Ooh, I got Clout 9. That's why I got this, because I can actually remember when it's there. And here we go. Um, honestly, I don't love this matchup, but let's see what... Okay, so he did bring Bulu Lucha. I feel okay about that, I'm not gonna lie. I'd rather that. No Jolteon is very interesting. I was highly expecting a Jolteon. Um, I don't mind it. Swampert is a bit annoying. That's non-Mega Swampert. So that's his Rocker. Um, Crobat probably is bulky with clearing. Cofagrigus probably has T-Spike, so I need to keep um, Claydol alive. Get rid of those. Um, that is Mega Char X. Um, this could be a very offensive team. I'm not expecting it to be too offensive based on what I brought. Um, okay, so I think I leave Fundy. I know it's kind of the obvious, but Swampert doesn't appreciate. Cofagrigus should live, but it's. Yeah, it's going to take a big hit, and I'm so fast, so that's fine. Crobat obviously doesn't appreciate, Halucha doesn't appreciate, Bulu doesn't appreciate. Even Assault Vest doesn't look like that. And if he leads Char... Yeah, it's not, that's not so great. But yeah, I think that's okay. The other option would be Claydol, but that lets a few things go a little bit unchecked. So, my team, um, this is a very defensive, um, plus one Dragonite, or plus one Charizard does just under half, while I do just over half with Hyper Voice. Obviously, rocks will change those not in my favor. Psychic Earth Power does pretty good damage to the vast majority of his team. Earth Power, Psychic, I guess, Psychic, Psychic. Um, I'm assuming that his... I'm going to check this notification. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Shout out to Freddy. Feel better, Freddy. Frederick. The new mascot. Um, I mean, I don't see a reason to over predict this. If you're like offensive Stone Edge with a Rindo, would be like. Worst case scenario, I don't see that happening. He is Rindo. Toxics, okay. Annoying, but not the worst thing in the world. So, with a Rindo, did 44, right? Did 44, so you're Spadef. Is what I'm seeing there. Yeah, you're Spadef. Spadef for days. So I would need to grass one again. I wish I had Bolt Switch instead of Thunderbolt at the moment. I probably should have ran that, not gonna lie. Um. So what comes in? Bulu, Crobat, Lucha, Char. Charizard would come in. Which would be a bit of a problem. Um, good Stealth Rock. I gotta remind myself of some Kelks. 
As always, I prep pretty decently in advance. Um, yeah, that's not not good. So I might want to go Claydol now. Wouldn't be the worst thing. Swampert stayed in. Yeah, it hurts pretty good actually. I don't know if I want to risk that. Um, I'm just gonna. Yeah. Okay. I really wanted to overpredict, not gonna lie, but I don't think it was worth. Um, this is probably Charizard. In which case, I think I have to go hard Altaria. And if he Dragon Claws as I switch into Altaria, I'm gonna be so sad, but that might be a risk I have to take. I'm not gonna lie, this is a bothering me. Um, I assume Dragon Claw would kill, even though I'm pretty. Actually, it doesn't kill, but yeah, just active battle. I figured that would be annoying. Um, it is first turn Mega, so I could do sixty percent, but I don't think it's worth. I have to go hard. Oh! He did it! Oh! Mm, I called it out. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Um, that's a big problem, guys. There's no way to understate that. That's... That's a massive problem. Okay. Um... That's a massive problem, guys. <sighs> That's jolly, yeah. Um... Gator does a lot. Aqua Jet doesn't do that much. I sure does. That's not the right thing. That's a chunk. Um, it's got no reason not to flare blitz. I should have gone into clay doll. I... Oh, okay, he went earthquake. I assumed that was flare blitz. Clay doll takes a plus one, right? Flare blitz, dragon claw. Yes. So I think I stealth rock. <sighs> If the flare blitz is twice, that's a problem. My Altaria is probably not faster than Bulu. Uh, no, I'm probably not. Unless he's bulky, bulky Bulu. But yeah, so it's I have to if Kofa Grigas kills something, I have to uh, promise I need this Claydol and. I don't have Wish. Oh, I really wish I had brought a Lola Mole over Altaria right now, guys. I had it. I got talked out of it. Just calling that out. I blame Jack, who is literally the reason I've won so many games, but I'm blaming Jack this time. No, I'm kidding. I love you, Jack. Um, no, 
Jack and Hatch pushed hard for Maker Altaria, and I, I'm not comfortable with that Mon, guys. Stuff like that, I'm not comfortable. Okay, well... Wood hammer. Who takes a wood hammer? I wish I had HP poison right now. On superior. Um, the problem is, it's so hard to tell what you are. You destroy Sneasel's face. You destroy everything but Thundee's face, I'm assuming, and if you catch Bulu, or if you catch Thundee with a Stone Edge, it's not good. No bueno. I got over something here. Um, I don't want to be Sneasel because neutral to ice, weak to ice, neutral to ice, weak to ice, weak to dark. And Gator's still good. Although I did take off Crunch, so what's Gator looking at versus a Colfic Regus? But it's also got priority, which I need priority based on what he's brought. Um, yeah, not great. I may have to give up Altaria, which is no bueno. Actually, based on what it's brought, Superior's kind of mostly useless. Yeah, it's gotta be Serp. Actually, if I sub, how do I do versus Crobat? He's got Infiltrator. I have to remember that. Okay. So I have to just leave Storm. I would assume a U turn coming out. Or a defog. So yeah, I gotta go Thundee, even though he defogs or U-turns. Defog, yeah, I figured that. Um, which is probably the better of the option. He U-turns now, but nothing really comes in on this nice. So I'm gonna Thunderbolt. Zard is his best. But that, 72. I have to just tin power ground. If he kills me, puts me in range. If he DDs, he's gonna have to then roost. And he'll have to roost until Toxic kills me. And if he does it a couple times, I might go Gator. Uh, I don't know what's hard to say. He might not have Roost if he has Dragon Claw and Earthquake. I didn't think he'd have Dragon Claw this match, to be honest. Because Altaria is my only dragon. He's gonna kill me. How? What? Oh. Why did I do that? I really thought I was faster, guys. I completely forgot. I am not max speed. I really thought I was. I'm up, so that's Jolly, which I knew, but I'm not. Well, that wasn't smart, guys. That wasn't smart at all. He's 
He's not quite in liquidation range, but he wouldn't kill me. So I can just liquidation. He probably switches into Kofag to take my sheer force. Am I okay with that? What is Sneasel doing? Not enough yet. Superior? Not enough yet. Okay. So it's seeming like Gator's the play. If he goes Kofagrigus. If I DD twice. It's potential. Probably not, I'm guessing he's defensive. On Char, if I DD and he DDs, which is my biggest fear. Aqua Jet's not doing enough. But I think I, I, I gotta be aggressive. Liquidation loses sheer force. No, it's definitely not killing. I wish I still had Crunch. I'm gonna be aggressive. He's a really good player. I've noticed that from watching. I don't think I've ever played him before, but at least we didn't have any uh, DM history, so I don't think we had played, but if we had, we set up in schedule. I know he was in the league last year, I think, unless I'm mistaken. Um, but from watching, he's a very solid player. As you see, he already caught me on a good predict. And he stayed in, which was good, and just attacked, killed the Thundee, which was a big mistake of my part. Because that had my poison coverage! <laughs> Whoopsie! Okay, that's good. Because, unless I'm mistaken, Char does not appreciate. Yeah. So, he pretty well has to go Kofiker, I guess. If he's like Scarf Bulu, maybe, but I don't think he is, based on his team. No, I'm about speeding Scarf Bulu, okay. So yeah, we just Liquidation. Kofagrigus is probably coming in. Could go Bulu into Halucha. You'd have to sack Bulu, I think. But then. Halucha takes about half, so I'm okay with that. Because then Sneasel does a good chunk to Halucha. Yeah, I think. Oh, that's, I'm not calking the defense boost. That's really dumb. So no, I, I, yeah, I was going to say, that feels like more than I had originally figured out. So that seems to be what he's going to do. So I'll get a little health back. We Ice Punch. He's going to get the Sheer Force. So I did 44. Oh, jeez, I forgot about left. I'm playing bad, guys. I'm playing really bad. I'm sorry. Uh, so that did what? I did... What did I do? 50? To Bulu? Uh, yeah, so that's about... Something that looks like no bulk Bulu. Might go for Krigus. Especially no hard go for Krigus. Um, I wish I still had Crunch. I did 44 with the Ice Punch, so now that I have... Mum, 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 eh, that works. I'm not gonna kill. And he can kill me. So I think I go Serp. Yeah, 
Yeah, I go Serp. Did 42. To Serp, yeah, that's about right. Um, in Grassy Terrain, this is not quite going to kill. Crobat's at 72. He makes such smart switches, guys. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So, I'm going to Leech Seed. Just to get a little more health back. I'm assuming Brave Bird will kill. Oh, yes, it will. Um, and the problem is, who do I switch? I assume he's going to U-turn. Um, he's just one step ahead of me at every turn. Every turn. Which is a sign he's just a better player than I am. Let's be honest. Um, he probably U-turns, I would think. So I'm going to go Gator. He toxic. Just gotta risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know. I do wanna know. And I'm probably safe, but maybe not after the toxic. No, that's pretty offensive, and he seems to not be that. He seems to be utility, which is kind of what I expected, so. Probably U turn Brayford. He might have taught. I would assume he has Brave Bird so he can infiltrate her on Superior. So, good. how much did I do to Bulu before? I did 50. I gotta risk it, because that will catch the Cofagrigus as well. Won't kill it, but... Oh, it almost did! I get one more. I might have protect on Bulu. If I see Bulu, I probably get aggressive. Altari is screwed now, though. Let's point that out. I'm ahead, but I'm behind. <laughs> it's essentially dead. You're essentially dead. Probably goes Lucha, actually. It outspeeds. Claydol. Whoa. Oh, Lucha's not liking the looks of Claydol there. Um, yeah. So he's gonna go Bulu. And he probably has Protect, but I have to risk it. Oh, I wish I liquidationed. I really wish I liquidationed. Um, or is that Sneasel range? No, but I'm faster. Why am I saying I need to ice here? I get to ice school crash. I am faster than you. Crowbot's gotta be out of Sneasel right, right? Is Sneasel my way to win this? Oh, actually it might not be. I think it is. I think it's bulkier than that. Bulu... That should be Sneasel Rain, unless you're like max defense, but it, it seems like you're no bulk. Oh, yeah, that's Sneasel Range. Got a hit, though. I might still have a chance. 
Sneasel is far too important to my team, considering it's Sneasel. It doesn't hit that hard. It is mostly fast, but not that fast. Okay, it cuts one. Train goes down. That makes sense. He might be... Is he Yachi? I don't think you're Scarf. He is Scarf. Oh, why did... Oh, I meant to hit cancel. I meant to click cancel. Um, this is a big old problem. Um, maybe he forgot Infiltrator. Because I lose now. That was stupid. And you know what the funniest part is? Guys? Ah, that's close. So my hope is he forgot Infiltrator. Basically. Nope. He didn't. Um, the problem is, Claydol cannot 1v everything. <laughs> if that's news to you, it shouldn't be. I had to Ice Shard there. Or Switch. Switch was probably actually the play. Yeah, he he was ahead of me at every turn. But super mega crit won't even do it. Oh. I didn't play well. He did. At the end of the day, that's that's all there is to it. He misses the horn leech. Nope. Hmm. I I clicked in, I do that. I click in a move, I go to Calc, and then I come back to cancel. He clicked in fast, I was I was in trouble. I, I can't do that. That's that's not my best forms. I mean he played well, like I'll credit to him. I'm just reflecting on myself. He, like he played well. Got a good team. I didn't think he'd bring Bulu to be honest. Um so I brought a little bit of stuff, but I was stupid on Fundy, I forgot what Fundy I brought. Um, Thundy was kind of like that because of, um, Jolteon, by the way. Um, I was outspeeding, um, Adam and Charizard. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I really wish I had brought a little Mola. I know that was Bulu food, but... I don't know. I think I would have liked that better. Although, what really switched into Bulu? Superior. I should have had HP... HP Poison. I thought about HP Ice on Superior, um, which would have been helpful. I should, I should, I should. Well. I was gonna put HP Ice on instead of Leech Seed, and I went back to Leech Seed. Yeah, actually, I'm not gonna lie. The team I first built was better. This was a case where I think we overthought it too much, or at least I overthought it too much. So I had Aloe to keep, mostly to keep Clay all up. Um, superior, this was it, but I, I, I had switched to HP Ice, and then I switched back. Um, and I had Crunch on Gator, which would have helped. Not immensely, but it would have helped. Um, it would have just taken out Kofagrigus the first time. I knew Crobat was a problem, it outspeeds my whole team, and it, Superior hated it. I had to try to get rid of it. Um, Scarf Thunder would have been better, I guess. I don't know. Lots that could have been changed. Um, honestly, this went better than I kind of was expecting, but um, still not great. Um, and I, I did really fear Jolteon, which is one reason why I dropped Aloe. And then I had an Assault Vest in Power Ground. Thundee, um, it did have Dark Pulse, which, I mean, it was never in versus Copa Grigus, so. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Um, and we do lose this week with this battle. There's one more to go, but we have lost both. So, uh, even though we're top in the league, this is uh, not looking that great for us. Have a nice day, everybody, because Coach Oak said so, and I will see you all next time.